members had built this building from ground up back in 1964, completed it in 65. Uh, every system in here was circa 1964-65, so it was a great undertaking just on that end of it. We got together and decided we needed to do something with this building, and we decided to go for zero net energy. Uh, we basically had to gut this building completely to get all those systems out. Uh, but the focus was to make this uh, zero net energy, high efficiency, but also to maintain some of its original integrity. To get uh, into zero net energy, we first thing we did was we knew we had to insulate the building. So we insulated the roofs, the walls, and uh, replaced windows with energy efficient windows. We decided to use geothermal heating and cooling. So our job was to come in and, and uh, install 67 cassette cooling and heating units and then we uh, tied into the geothermal field and uh, brought in the uh, geothermal uh, piping. Um, we put uh, 600 solar panels up on the roof. All of that had to be laid out on the roof, so all the racks had to be built, set in place. It's one of the larger installations on a building that we've done on a rooftop. Uh, we put all LED lighting in throughout the building. In concert with the LED lighting, we employed uh, electronic devices such as occupancy sensors. We also put in a lighting control system. Uh, the idea here is to kind of showcase what uh, our members are trained to do and what we're trying to pr promote in the market, and that's energy efficiency. So it's one of the things uh, that became a focus when we started to look at what we need to do here at the building. Uh, there's people willing to invest in doing what the IBEW 58 has done, knowing that it will work. But their evidence, their historical evidence, is going to help prove to others that it works. I think the IBEW, what they did is, you know, they're, they're looking at a, a facility that is 100% energy efficient. I would argue we're the leaders in this. Our members have been trained, our contractors have been educated uh, in how to promote and bid these projects. Uh, we, we teach the advanced training at our training center. And at the end of all this, um, I think we've come up with a energy efficient and on top of that, it's a beautiful building. It's something that we can showcase to our clients. I think at the end of the day, there's not too many like this right now and hopefully there'll be more.